All right, y'all. What is going on, guys? All right. So I asked today if y'all would like me to do a spotlight on the new hero coming next month. I really thought it would be in here by now, but I don't see it. And then I went to the update journal, and it's not here. It's just got the hazelnut, um, hazel ninja, not hazelnut the new skin and then new content and they actually asked me to do a video on this i didn't know it was actually going to be in um the test server so i'm gonna do this video in case some people didn't know if you don't have the test server i'll be the one to tell you um they are introducing artifacts features and instances the um they have quest for sky guardian matchless hammer and scabulous blade right now adjust the cd of sky guardian skills now i i like new things when it comes to games but this i do not like because this is a whole nother level of understanding and rememberizing because i'm gonna break it down to you i, I was looking over it for a few minutes and i was just looking so if you click this instead of it being a blank because they're not legendary if we go right here legendary hero has a l a for artifacts so that's kind of cool how they um unique let me see no their card isn't i was about to see because this card right here says legend so there's three different um artifacts the first one is artifact hurricane and this is the display of it and it is level three it says forge artifact i'm not sure how we can get that to level four it says hero requires to be one 14 and it's 115 so i'm not really i'm not really sure how that all goes and that is going to be another huge huge thing because as you can tell this is um 114 and that's going to be hard for some people to get um but i'm going to break it down to you so let's go with the hurricane first all right so the hurricane um artifact is it's a thousand two hundred of this which is on chapter one and that is actually crazy can we get a moment of silence for a minute 1250 i'm at 250 200 and this is elite stage maybe we can use red red stuff with that maybe we can use the red i don't know but to me that is just that that's crazy i i feel like something's wrong so we need this would be a number one makes to a number two let me try something real quick while i'm recording because you know it's very hmm I was gonna see if we can craft it, but it doesn't look like it is allowing us to craft it. Let me see. Fragments. Uh, it's actually not on here. No, it would be under gear. It wouldn't be under fragment. It'd be under gear because they were whole ones. I, I actually have no idea items i don't know where the single ones are that's what i was looking for I, i'm not sure how to forge it to the next level but anyways um let's get into what it does so this is a uh, artifact level three so the artifact skills like they get their own skills this is what i was talking about you're gonna have to rememberize a lot of stuff so its first skill is eye of the eagle increases accuracy and critical rate the artificial wait, artifact skill will be unlocked when your hero reaches artifact hurricane level one. So when it's level one, it's going to get this one. So maybe level three is the highest because there's three skills. I hope it's the highest because if it goes to four, then that's just going to be insane. The second one is the second and ultimate skill can knock the targets back once hitting them. So whenever it gets off its ultimate, it's going to knock them back or its second skill is going to knock it back. That's just that's just mind blowing to me. But all right. Well, you see it here today. Raptor 
chasing basic attack has a chance to release an eagle damaging enemies according to their max hp and binding them so wait basic attack has a chance to release an eagle so it's going to release an eagle damaging enemies according to their max hp all right so that is the hurricane and as you can tell right here it gets 300 agility 650 attack 100 armor penetration 100 physical crit 6500 hp and skills cooldown reduced by 15 percent that is just i don't know i don't want to criticize it because i i truly don't know. okay so it is max enchant you can't enchant it that's what i wanted to see i don't know how overpowered that's going to be but in my all honesty i feel like that's going to be really really strong let's go to the second one which is the morasama moras mora maza i don't know how to say it so this one is level three so it looks like you need 1200 you need a level two and then you're gonna need and that will make a level three that's just crazy to me but whatevs artificial i mean artifact skills i can't freaking speak right now all right so this is bleeding blade causes an enemy hero's skin to rupture heroes affect by bleeding blade will lose a percentage of their max hp per second all right, so it's going to mess with their skin whenever the first attack maybe happens, and then it's, they're going to lose HP. That just sounds that sounds like it's going to be stupid overpowered, but I'm not going to criticize. Um, blade recovery while receiving lethal damage instantly restores HP um, equal amount to the bleeding damage amount dealt to enemies by the skill bleeding blade so he's gonna gain HP right oh my gosh man soul steel scabulous blade will gain part of ability wait attributes from each hero he kills all right, that one don't seem too, too strong unless if he kills a hero with, like, let's just say he kills a Halbert Master or Halberd Master. He's going to gain his attributes. So, you just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. This is all raw. This ain't no script. I'm going off with what I think um, just so y'all can know. And then I'm giving, I'm reading it to you and we can work this through together. Because to me, this feels like it's going to be stupid overpowered. And that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, this one gives STR. 75 agility 220 attack damage 250 armor penetration 100 accuracy 160 max hp 480 now we got one more and then i'm gonna tell you which one i would probably work on for well which one i'm gonna work on first whenever this is released so we have matchless hammer and he, wait up wait up wait up wait up time to flip out oh she holds that he holds that now that's that's sick i didn't notice that and he's all suited up oh okay okay i like that i like that all right so this one is kylan killin i don't know sounds like killing but all right the first one is dragon soul armor that's gonna be his armor oh this one might be worth going first activates a dragon soul shield when heavy damage in a short period of time the armor resists all of the incoming damage wow that is awesome Ooh, if you're looking for possibly a very good tank he would serve a great purpose for that with that artifact all right the second one is when the dragon soul shield is active so that's this one. Oh, that's the armor wait oh no that is the shield okay when it is active it reduces the attacker's physical attack if he damages matchless hammer if that is for the whole entire fight that's gonna be pretty good he may be an actually good arena hero arena hero 
All right, Thunder Shaking increases the stunning rate of the fourth skill in the stunning time of basic attack and skill. So this one's just going to stun for a little bit longer. STR 200, Accuracy 50, Max HP 13,000, Initial Energy 200. So that means whenever he starts the fight, he's going to have an additional 200, I believe, and Magic Resistance 200. Now... The first one I will go for, if it's just these three heroes, will be the Sky Guardian. I personally like the increase accuracy and critical rate. Um, just because, one, look at this damage she gives. Like, to me, with 15% school um, cooldown, I feel like that, that, that's pretty big. Uh, I ain't worried about that because that's going to be like 113, 114 probably. Um, that would be the first one I go for. Then it would be Matchless Hammer, then Scabulous. I'm just saying right now, my, my, my mind may change. Maybe some of y'all will comment and tell me which one's better, why, and whatnot. But if you're going up against one of these in the arena i can only imagine we're actually going to give it a shot real quick i'm just curious um as to what in the hell is about to happen i shouldn't have just let me see there we go i just kind of want to see him with this armor so he's going to take a lot of damage Is that him? We're going to see how much damage he does. One seventy. All right. Let me try something else. This is just for me. I, I'm just, I'm personally curious as to how good he actually is with this armor. Like, cause he has a lot of HP now, like a serious amount of HP. So that's the shield right there. Oh my goodness. How often is that going to be active? It's active again. He don't seem like that good of a tank. That was all right. That was all right. Let's um, let's put in Sky Guardian with him, and let's see how that performs. Just curious. I like that new. I like the new. I like out things. All right. So that's a nice immune. That that that's actually pretty strong for the start. I mean, of course, if you have a full team, you're gonna also do more. But oh, the witch. All right. Well, I was just curious as to see, and now we're going to put Scabulous Blade in and just see also. Huh. That one he tanked a little bit longer. All right, let's do it one more time. And let's put in Scabulous. I think Scabulous is the one that takes their attributes. I think I'm trying to see the poison on them so nope damn man we we this is not very good oh that that actually did a lot give me your ultimate man there we go I, I love the red the red makes this look so much nicer like around him that is nice like i like that that red okay so that played a little bit different after looking at this i think scabulous might be the one i go for um let me read it one more time cause the enemy rupture loses a percentage of max hp per second i, I kind of like that scabulous might actually be the one i go for i'm glad i tried this well y'all hopefully y'all did enjoy if you didn't know about the relics let me know i was gonna do the spotlight but this is just the skin there is no new hero yet i thought it would have been released by now but sadly it's not but um yeah just let me know what y'all think about these artifacts 
Uh, I I just think that it's gonna be a little overpowered, especially depending on which heroes get this. Cause as you know, I haven't seen a new legendary hero in a long time. So are all the other heroes gonna get it? Possibility. So y'all, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the very next video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, y'all. We are two subscribers away from hitting my goal of this month, and I have not posted that much this month. And we have one more day left of this month, so let's see if we can hit that. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy. I'll see y'all in the next one. My name is Josh or Barry. I'm signing off. Peace out. Take it easy and adios.